In IronCAD 2019, we added new capabilities to select areas and regions of profiles to be used in commands such as extrude, spin, sweep, and loft. Many times, users will define 2D profiles that define open curves or non-trimmed curves such as this, where we have multiple circles that are defining the positions and locations of other geometry in the sketch. So for example, if I edit this relationship or this size on our radius, you can see that our whole position moves and changes to adjust. And it's easier to build it this way versus trimming these and dealing with arcs and trying to put parametric relationships in place. So using this, we can now use extrude to select various areas and regions. So if you go into the extrude command, the first thing you do is select your profile that you're going to extrude. Then you can further define it by selecting the outlines. And we have two options. One is our previous capability, where you can go in and select the actual curves themselves to define the areas or regions that you want to use. In this case, I'll go ahead and select these circular regions inside of here to define our, our basically our outer profile of our geometry. And we can define the length. And you can also set relations or behavior options, for example, to link to the existing profile. So we can use the profile as the master, and any changes to it will update our geometry. So we'll go ahead and hit OK to start our extrude. So we now have our base outline, and we can see we now have this area that we want to use in the middle to define our next component of our connector. So we'll go into our extrude command, and we'll add this to our existing part. And again, we'll select our profile. And in this case, in our regions, our select outlines, we'll select a region versus selecting the actual curves. So in this case, we'll go ahead and select in here, and we'll define that full region that we want to use. You couldn't select the curves because they're not trimmed, so it would define this entire circle. So this is where the region curve, can make a sort of curve selection comes in handy. So now that you have that selected, you can define your profile links, for example, your extrusion links, or various other settings. And again, you'll want to make sure you use the linked uh, option in this case so that you can make adjustments to your profile and have this update. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and we'll see that our geometry is now created and defined between two, two various types of profile relationships. So now if we go back to our geometry, we can see if we now change our geometry back to C3, in this case, we can see the geometry changes and our profile automatically updates and maintains that region. And this can work on various other cases as well. If we go in here and make this 1.125, for example, make it a little bit larger, all of our profile and our relationships update and our area region maintains. So a very useful tool to allow you to select those area regions defined by profiles that you may not want to trim and makes your life a lot easier in building these type of profiles and geometry relationships.